What is something you learned in school that you don't use now? We're flashing back to your school days, now on The Brew. Alright, we all had to go to school, we all had to learn subjects from subjects we're not interested in, but what subject did you learn in school that you really never used in life? That would be whatever subject has y equals mx plus b. I learned that shit, I got it down, I got an A in that class, and I never used it. I never designed it. a building, I never turned into an engineer. The reason I think that, <laughs> reason I think they taught people that is because the United States educational system is so compounded and so small that they kind of try and get everything kind of small, a small taste of everything in a short amount of time compared to other G7 countries and other, U, uh, other countries that are first world who can give you a better education and we're just not putting money into it. And so I think it's a money issue. But uh, yeah, it's definitely, we got, we got taught a whole bunch of random shit like that that we're never gonna use because we're only gonna go into one thing and most people that's DoorDash. And so there's gonna be a lot of answers on this. <laughs> nice, DoorDash. I had one simple answer, and my biggest one was Shakespeare. Why did I have to learn Shakespeare? Especially some of that writing, oh, it's man. about, you know, suicide and like weird lives and stuff and witches and witchcraft. I can tell you what, I am halfway through my life now, and ever since I walked out of my high school, I never once used anything Shakespeare. I don't even want to go see a Shakespeare play. I don't care. Sure, there's some like other movies and mockery about it, but why did I have to like super analyze and like go in depth about Shakespeare? I mean, sure, it's a classic, but okay, there's other classics out there that are actually more relevant than life than Shakespeare. Right, and I think, I think that's a very good, that's a good point, because it's a testament to the time that he was in. It was kind of like, oh, this is revolutionary, you know, he, he invented all these words. He invented a lot of words that people started using after him, but this is also before social media. It's before people had to make good points. It's before people had to, you know, it's not the same standard that you and I have to live to, for real. And I actually agree with you. I haven't listened to anything that mother said one time since I got out of school, not one time. I mean, theeth thoueth have watcheth a movieeth on pay per vieweth or higher cable channeleth at midnighteth that's more important right. this. And it's not great. It's raising the prices at, <laughs> like, yeah, okay, we get it. You're a dork. Yeah, so that's mine. I mean, there's some math stuff too that I don't use now. And I mean, there's just, you're right, there's a lot of stuff they try to cram into kids and make them learn. And it's just like, education's important, you gotta get a good education, we're not saying that's, that's not it, but mm, maybe it's time to like rethink some of the requirements that we're learning now, because man, kids might learn Shakespeare, but they're just flat out dumb in life. Right, we need financial literacy courses, that's probably A1. That's actually, that, that's probably my vote for A1 thing, but that has the opposite effect of everything that you just cited. There you go. Yeah, or just a general life skills course. Like I had to take home economics. Okay, I know how to cook a little bit. Great, you know, something like that's a little useful, but mm, some of these other things, gotta draw the line there. But our viewers, you guys have lots of interesting answers on this one, so let's get to the list right now. So Bronx Armors 46 says calculus and British lit. Starman says French, <laughs> nice, your favorite, Joel. Andrew says history, ooh. Uh, Rock for Guitar says genome decoding. Scoots in Vegas says, out of all the years in school and into college, I never used anything from art class. Ed says the gestation period of a gray squirrel is 28 days. Google that fact. Uh, JNI764 says, mostly stuff from science class. And Real Treats Treats says the Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Or osmosis is diffusion through a membrane. Don't ask me to explain either, but I remember both of those. I remember that 80 Cypress Hill song, Insane in the Membrane. But that's about all I got to add to that one. A lot of useless, uh, you know, that, the science that you learned about the membrane goes better for you in the club when you're dancing to that song than it does when you're actually at your job. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, that's where you want to be, right there. <laughs> and yeah, the Pythagorean theorem, okay, I remember what it is. I remember my ge geometry teacher being like, this is the most important thing you're ever going to need. And then I never needed it. I don't, I, sure, if I was like, you know, a, I was drafting like an, or an architect making, designing buildings, sure, but I'm not using that in the checkout line at a shop right here in New Jersey. That's not happening. Right. You're using, you're still, the thing is, you're using math when you go and look at the ounces on a jar. You still need to be able to convert, you know, uh, prices to ounces to how much you're getting. And if you, you noticed a lot of things are a whole lot less for the same price now, if they haven't 
risen the price, they've dropped the content. That's a thing. I, 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 God damn it, I can't say that word. Anyway, the theorem is good for baseball fans like us when we look at advanced metrics, though. That's the only thing that I will say. Uh, that's the, the one thing that you can use it for. But outside of that, somebody telling kids that's the most important thing they're going to use is wrong 99% of the time. Here's an equation for you. Joel squared plus alcohol squared equals blackout squared. <laughs> equals fall down the escalator without spilling your beer squared. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> We're just going to get off of that one real quick and go to more of your comments because Richard Poole, too, says, oh, wait, square dancing. Nice. James says calculus. Nicole says algebra and geometry. Melissa also agrees, says algebra. Craig Bankhead says calculus. Use math on my checkbook or in the grocery store. Rarely need calculus. Laura says algebra. And finally, Mike F3825 says proving geometric theorems. The only good one was angle side side. I scored points on 518 quizzes that year, but because I was in sports, the coach passed me anyway. This is why I had teams in my industry with several engineers on them. They did the math. Well, there you go. You hire people that have specialty, specialty degrees in those fields, and there you go. That, that's a good manager right there. I feel like a lot of the, the answers that we got for the show kind of reinforced my first point in that we don't really need most of these subjects. Most of the people said something about geometry or calculus. That's a good example right there. And most of us don't need it, and it's because school is so compacted. They don't let people go and expand it, take a couple extra years not make it impossibly unaffordable and just give people what they deserve. And so that's why you end up with all kinds of wasted time and you end up being a dumbass who delivers food anyway. Joe and I both know a person who doesn't know the difference between your and your. You are and your, like can't write it. And he's an English high school teacher in Texas. Oh. So that's something I learned when I was eight and had to be told once and remember because it's not complicated and that should tell you a lot the the whole story i just told you should tell you a lot of the state of education in the united states i don't know <laughs> i'm not gonna go <laughs> any, i'm not gonna go any further on this one because we both know who it is and if you go back on our channel far enough you might be able to find that too but you know what else is far on the channel know. When you click that like or subscribe button and see all the good stuff here on the Big Jersey Joe 50 YouTube channel, four big shows waiting for you each and every week. Lots of fun games entertainment as well. And why don't you apostrophe RE would be correct in liking that, hitting that subscribe button down below. Hey, look, see what I just did there? You're welcome <laughs> to hit that like and subscribe button. <laughs> very nice. Yes, with the apostrophe. All right, well, that was a very interesting conversation. I think the biggest answer we got, though, is math seems to be, we got a lot of useless math. A lot of good math, but a lot of useless math. A ton of it, and it's the right answer, unfortunately. Well, there you go. Hopefully, you do get the right answer. All right. Well, anyhow, we'll let you go, Jersey Joe. I and you saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time, I hope. Click that subscribe button and don't miss all the interactive fun and games on the Jersey Joe 50 YouTube channel.